Uh, hey guys. Uh, Mirror B Music here. And now that I'm back in my home state of Vermont, um, and I'm back onto a normal schedule, that also means you guys are getting your regular Friday videos, which is good or bad, depending on how you look at it. And while I'm back here, I will, you know, talk about, um, some stuff. Uh, I, th I really liked the format of the Florida music videos, uh, you know, giving more of an educational look at music, uh, pop music and such. So I think I will continue that, uh, format. And that's what this video is. Uh, so I'm trying out the style, but, you know, trying to make it not really Florida related. Just trying to make it, you know, more of like an education based thing for you and I, um, because obviously I don't know everything that I do when I start making, uh, when I choose a song to do, obviously, um, I'm, you know, learning, um, so I'm giving the information I learned on the it, which is really cool. So there are a few songs that have really been with me my entire life. Uh, some of those include uh, Good Riddance by Green Day, uh, American Boy by Estelle and Kanye West, uh, Viva La Vida, um, Gold Digger by Kanye West, um, you know, Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson by Outkast, um, It Wasn't Me by Shaggy, um, um, you know, The Real Some Shady, Lose Yourself, just, you know, more early 2000s music, and that has been with me since pretty much I was born. A lot of it came out around the time I was born. Uh, but the subject for this video is probably the song I think has been with me the longest, and that I can remember listening to the longest, uh, that being Hey Ya by Outkast. So, um, I was originally going to make this video about Miss Jackson, uh, before I realized how I guess I just didn't have that intimate of a relationship with the song. Like, it's been with me for pretty much my entire life. But I just don't, don't have the connection to it as I do to Hey Ya. Um, I don't know why I have more of a connection with Hey Ya. Um, but I do. So, we're going to first talk about my connection with it. And then we'll move on to more like the factual part. And then um, we'll end with a scoring system. Um, and then... The goal is by the end of the year, right? It's all the videos in the series, right? We'll take the score out of 10 and we'll do a, you know, ranking to see how I ranked every song by the end of the year uh, to see which ones were good, which ones were bad. And this isn't only based on like the, you know, nostalgic songs. Like I'll do more modern stuff too. Um, but we're starting with a song I'm very familiar with so I can, you know, talk about it more comfortably because I have an emotional connection to it, right? So, um, this is one of the only songs I can really remember, um, from when I was really, really little. Um, my, I think it was, like, my mom or dad was playing it one day when I was literally, like, watching Spongebob or some shit, and then, um, like, I'd hear it on the radio, like, right in the switch, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but here in Vermont, right, um, right around, right after Christmas to, like, mid-January, there's just a drought in the Hot 100, right, so they always play, like, early 2000s music, so from, like, I don't know, four years old on, I, around this time, I'd always hear, hey, uh, played a shit ton on the radio, uh, it was more of the like drought time, so, the song's always, like, been with me, and then, um, when I got Spotify, that was one of the first songs I listened to, um, and then right around, uh, you know, 2013, 14, Pentatonix released their, um, Evolution of Music video, and, uh, Hey Ya uh, was, like, one of the first songs. Uh, sung in the early 2000s part of that video. And then right around when I started uh, performing music in 2018, 19, um, one of the first songs I brought up with the band was uh, Hey uh, by Outkast. Um, I've never done it in a show, <laughs> but 
it's one of the ones that I ask to perform. Sadly for me, um, I was not able to um, learn it or perform it for any show that I've done. But recently, I have learned it um, on guitar and the piano. So um, hopefully, as time continues, um, and, you know, God not cutting me off a of life soon, um, hopefully I'll be able to, um, you know, get videos out, um, or, you know, do concerts with Hey Ya. Um, you know, it would be cool to do a YouTube cover as well, eventually. Um, and yes, I will also start doing covers. Also, I love how this video, uh, just in the script, this is like a little note I put in the script, um, I love how this video has turned into both a update video and a new video. <laughs> um, so, now I'm going to do the part where I play you the song, and then we... 3,000? For the sake of everybody in the band, act like you got some sense. Ain't gonna get up there and shake his ass. What we talking about? Don't get out there playing it, okay? What I do every night. That's all I know how to do, man. You know. I ain't flew all the way overseas in the middle seat for us to get over here and f up. Act like you got some sense. You might get a little bit of this here. Not money. This is hope money. I hope you get out there and do your thing. Check it out. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. Either you can fold that. 3,000? I'm telling you. Don't mess it up for everybody. Greyhound don't float on water. Here in London for the first time to perform for you live. Johnny Vulture, Benjamin Andre, Dookie on drums, Possum Jenkins, and Andre Ice Cold. 3,000. Performing their smash hit, Hey Ya! Ladies and gents, I give you the love, the love.
So now it is time for my personal favorite part of this um, video, um, the history aspect, where I get to tell you facts about the song and explain how it was like created, and you know if they're you know basically you know the Florida music stuff, uh, just weird shit about it as well. So um, so Andre three thousand, who is one of the members of Outcast, uh, wrote the song in two thousand, uh, but began recording it in uh, about like, 2002, early 2003. Um, uh, he used an acoustic guitar for accompaniment, uh, inspired by bands such as uh, The Hives and The Smiths. Um, Andre recorded the song. Um, Andre recorded the introduction, uh, the verse, and the hook, uh, and the vocals all around the same time, using several dozen takes. Uh, he returned to work, uh, on the song, several nights later, um, with us, uh, with a uh, session musician, uh, Kevin Kendricks, uh, performing the bass line and the synths. Months later, Andre 3000 worked, uh, uh, with Pete Novak and, uh, LeBron Sound Studios in Los Angeles. Uh, they experimented with various sound effects, um, including singing through a vocoder, uh, and did 30 or 40 takes, uh, for each line. So, uh, the song is in G major. Uh, the song is 22 beats per phrase. Uh, uses a 1, 6, 5, and 6, 2, uh, chord progression. Um, obviously, ma uh, C major chord, um, it's in, uh, 4-4, four, four. um, um, the song opens with, a three pickup beats as 100,000 counts, one, two, three, ah, uh, uh, and leads into the first verse, um, the lyrics begin to describe, um, doubts of a romantic relationship, um, and wonders if they're staying together for tradition, or, um, like, they just don't want to be together. Um, some of the lines are, but does she really want to mess around, um, want to see me walk out the door? Um, Andre commented, uh, I think it's more important to be happy, uh, to meet up to the world's expectations what a relationship should be. So this is a celebration of how men and women relate to each other in the 2000s. Um, the song leads into the chorus, uh, which consists of Hey Ya uh, repeated eight times, uh, accompanied by a synthesizer uh, performing the bass line. Um, luckily for me, uh, hey Ya received universal acclaim from music critics and fans alike. Uh, Pop Matters described the track as uh, brilliantly rousing and spazzing with uh, electrifying uh, multiplicity. Um, Entertainment Weekly uh, highlighted it as um, the Catalyst song uh, for the debut album, for the double album. Um, the song's uh, unusual um, arrangement drew, uh, comparisons to artists, uh, of varying genres. Um, according to acclaimed music, um, it is the 18th most celebrated pop song, um, in music history, and is apparently the best song of the 2000s. Um, I... So, um, now we're going into, uh, commercial and, uh, perform, uh, commercial performance and impact. Um, Hey, uh, uh, was successful in North America, first charting, uh, on the week of, uh, on the week ending October 18th, 2003, at number 53 on Billboard Hot 100. Uh, three weeks after, uh, The Way You Move debuted, uh, at number 25 at the same time. Uh, I topped uh, the Billboard Hot 100 for nine weeks, 
from December 13th, 2003 to February 7th, 2004. Uh, the digital sales topped the Billboard Hot Digital Tracks for 17 consecutive weeks. Uh, the song's time at number one, uh, Bridge Two Eras, ending Casey Keem's second turn as host of American Top 40 and beginning Ryan Seacrest's um, turn as host. Uh, the song performed well in urban uh, contemporary markets, topping the rhythmic top 40, reaching number 9 on the hot R&B and hip-hop singles tracks. Um, now it is time to go through all of the awards this song was um, nominated for. So these are all in 2004. Uh, it won the 2004 BET Awards Video of the Year and was nominated for its Viewer's Choice Award. Um, so in the Grammys, it won, it was nominated for Record of the Year. It won Best Urban Slash Alternative Performance and it was nominated for Best Music Video. On the iHeartRadio uh, Much Music Video Awards, it won Best Interracial Group Video and was nominated for People's Choice Favorite International Group. Um, in the uh, MTV uh, Europe Music Awards, it won Best Song and Best Video. Uh, in the uh, MTV Video Music Awards, it won Video of the Year, Best Hip Hop Video. It was nominated for Best Direction. It won Best Visual Effects and won Best Art Design. Um, in the MTV uh, Video Music Awards Japan, it was only nominated for Video of the Year and Best Pop Video. Um, in the NAACP Image Awards, it won Outstanding Duo or Group. Uh, it was nominated for Outstanding Music Video and Outstanding Song. And for the Soul Train Music Awards, it won Best Video of the Year. Cover versions time. So, um, the rock influence of Hey uh, have allowed many artists um, to release this cover version of the song. 2006, um, Matt Weedle um, performed a, like, folk version of it. Um, an acoustic cover song by Sam Lloyd and uh in his role as uh and uh Buckland appeared in two thousand nine episode of Scrub Soul on Fire Part Two. So now we're gonna take a little look at all of the countries it landed on and its peak position. So um Australia it peaked at one, Austria it peaked at number four. Uh, Belgium, it peaked at number 18. Uh, Banglam, it peaked at number 10. Canada, it peaked at number 1. Um, Czech Republic, it peaked at number 1. Denmark, it peaked at number 2. Europe, it peaked at number 2. Finland, it peaked at 10. France, 7. Germany, 6. Hungary, 34. Hungary, dance, 5. Ireland, 2. Italy, 3. Netherlands, 22. New Zealand, 2. Norway, 1. Romania, 71. Scotland, 6. Sweden, 1. Switzerland, 9. UK, 1. Billboard, 1. So that's US. Um, yeah, I, that's it. And so now we're going to look at the album. So, um... In Australia, it went double platinum. Uh, in Canada, it went gold. In Denmark, it went platinum. In Italy, it went platinum. Uh, in New Zealand, it went gold. In Norway, it went platinum. In Sweden, it went pa uh, platinum. In the United Kingdom, it went plat double platinum. And in the United States, it only went platinum. So, I hope you enjoyed this little look into... Um, Hey, uh, by Outcast. Uh, I sure, I sure enjoyed learning a little bit more about how the song was made, and I didn't realize how big it was um, until um, I really looked into it. 
sadly, in my research, I wasn't able to find any, you know, cool stuff about the music video, you know, like, um, you know, like I was for, um, uh, Cake by the Ocean and, um, Ride With Me, but there'll be other times to talk about music videos, so I am going to rate Hey Ya uh, by Outcast a very high rating of 9 out of 10. Trust me, I don't give high ratings out very often, but this is one of my favorite songs ever made, so it's getting a very high rating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. I don't exactly know how to end this video, so uh, here's a video that I found on the internet today. Um, there you go.